Hi, you guys. Leanne Hollitzer here at The Healing Studio. So I want to talk a little bit more in depth about some problems that kind of are symptoms in your life of being an unhealed empath or a sensitive person. Uh, so it can actually show up in a lot of different ways in your life. Uh, and it may not look or feel like it has anything to do with your intuitive system, but it does. So one of the things that empaths have a really hard doing is setting boundaries. They are naturally sensitive to everything around them. And oftentimes that means that they want to make it better because so that they can feel better. But it doesn't establish the clear boundaries between your energy and my energy. And therefore, there's a lot of extra stuff that gets in there. And it may drive unhealthy behaviors like rescuing or feeling compelled to help somebody despite what it, whether it's good for you to help them or not. Uh, it can also lead to resentment and burnout and difficulty maintaining healthy relationships with people outside yourself. Uh, it's also, you. a lot of empaths attract those vampires, those people that want to suck the energy off of you, that leave you feeling drained. Um, because they're so sensitive, you are attracting those people who can sense it. Oh, look, that person's going to let me kind of glom on to their energy and I can give them my negative emotions and they'll just take them. Empaths also oftentimes struggle with self-identity, like who am I um, compared to everyone else? And that's because there's that undefined space between you and me. This is where the healthy ego doesn't necessarily get developed and instead this kind of um, vulnerability gets, gets developed. It can also lead to emotional overwhelm because if you're dealing with this um, extra stuff, you might feel just completely overwhelmed, which then can lead to physical symptoms such as um, stomach aches or headaches, um, any kind of ailments that just kind of take you out of the game, um, fatigue. And paths also have sometimes make difficulty making decisions because again, there you have a hard time knowing where their energy stops and something else begins. So they're oftentimes struggling to know what's best for them. So difficulty saying no, difficulty taking balance with self-care. These are all things that can be signs that you are an empath, but you have not balanced or grounded your energy properly. So check out your own relationship with yourself and the information I just gave you and see, are you healed in your empath side or are you being impacted and you didn't even know it? Come talk to me and let me know.